Hey, what's up guys? This is DJ. We got some new and updated mods for Farm Sim 22 to take a look at today. In total, we have 39 mods for all platforms, 18 new and 10 updates. And PC and Mac players got 6 new and 5 updates. In this video, we'll show you all the new ones plus customization, and we will review every mod that got an update. There were also two mods that released on Friday that we never got to talk about, so they'll be getting their time in the spotlight today as well. Greetings from Neverland! We're going to start with new ones for all platforms. We got a new map, Netherlands by Rasta Man. They say, here is everything you need to start comfortable farming. On the map, you'll find a large cow shed for 120 cattle with a feeding machine, large sheep fold for 100 sheep, 22 large fields for good yields, 26 farmlands total all the way around. We have a biogas plant. We have forestry, USA map with dynamic terrain with ocean, plains, and mountain environment, just like North Carolina. Great redemption prices on a mountain hotel, but harder to access and perfect for multiplayer, they say. Looking very good, looking very good indeed. Ooh, I see this right over here. They say it's very hard to access. No kidding. I mean, doable, sure, but oof level, you bro? Yeah. Very nice, like that. All right, cool. Let's take a look at the PDA and see what we got. So here it is, very basic PDA at the end of the day. We have a field way up there. Then we have uh, a farmland 18 right here, which is a bunch of greenhouses. And then all the way down here, which looks to be where our main farm is. So that is very cool. Uh, big field right here, $2 million for that. Uh, let's see, half a million, 1.4. Um, and then there's no like, outside of the map to buy at least that i'm seeing like for example this area right here unable to buy that but once we get in here we could buy that so no one can own the ballpark unfortunately nonetheless this is very neat it's a i don't want to say different but it's a little bit different than we're used to seeing and i really like this so we'll jump up here real quick this is going to be your sheep fold areas uh we've got a grass field which is perfect so harvest the grass and go for it kind of getting like overall here, I'm getting like some Felsburn vibes almost where the top right hand corner of the map is is uh, real low into the ground. Uh, here is our what looks to be main farm and BGA. Yeah, we've got a silo. We've got a huge BGA. We've got our cattle farm here and then we have all of our equipment. And let me tell you what, the equipment on this map might be one of the most amount of equipment I've ever seen in my entire life. Let's check it out. We have, well, <laughs> we start with large tractors. We have the Fenton 1050 and a John Deere 7R 350. We have the Max Superliner, big John Deere Harvester, big Ropa Tiger uh, Potato? Sugar Beet. Sugar Beet. Or Potato. It's one of the two. Uh, then we've got... <laughs> <laughs> we got the Chrome Big M450. We got the big header for the John Deere. Uh, we have the Sugar Beet. See, I told you it was Sugar Beet. Uh, big old cultivator for you guys. Big cedar, big planter from Kenzie. We've got a roller. We've got a manure spreader. We've got stuff for doing slurry. We've got tether as well right here. Goodness gracious. Jump it over to the windrow. We have the K-branded windrow. Forage wagon. Two, not one. Two bellers. We've got two sets of bell uh, auto loaders plus a regular bell trailer. We've got this guy right here. We also have a front loader, front loader tools, and a header trailer. Oof. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, this is kind of nice. A big square fields, nice and open. There's not many spots where you're going to be getting stuck. It's easy to maneuver around. It's easy to get from point A to point B. Uh, I really like this map. And uh, it may not have like the most detail ever but I think you're gonna have a lot of fun playing on it. Next up, new for all platforms, we have the Lizard L200. Now this is very obviously a Mitsubishi that somebody went whoop with the sticker off the front, but nonetheless, we got a mid-size pickup here, 142 horsepower, variable transmission with 120 liters of fuel. This will go 136 miles per hour. It is a quick boy and it weighs 2.4 tons. As far as our engine, we can bump it up from 142 to 180, as well as 220, 250, 350, and back down. So go with that V6 turbo as far as your wheel options we have continental we have knock in at back end now some of these are some base game tires and some of these are a little bit more big old chunky boys and i like that nookie we have off-road stuff in there looking epic we're gonna leave that there window options we have a standard insufilm one two which i don't see much of a difference there uh three definitely and four definitely back in again exhausts i'm guessing these are around the back somewhere yep there we go so we have a chrome and then a delete so put it in the back 
I'm not sure where that exhaust went. I, I think it just deleted itself. No, it's it's coming out over here. Okay. So we've got that back in again. Optional buckets. Is that a bucket? Uh, protection support. We have that in chrome and black and a couple different uh, uh, options and looks there. Not quite on there. Uh, not, not quite, uh, but nonetheless, additionals, we have a snorkel, a tiny little snorkel out the front. Uh, we've got uh, guards on the windows, just those. We have a roof rack and then options between all of those. Lighthouse, uh, fog lamps, we've got a couple different setups through those. Antennas, and we have a few of those as well. Gridding, we do have a couple grids at the front. Those are called bumpers. And then uh, police model, you can do that, yes or no. Um, very neat through there. Chassis color, OMG. <clears throat> that's, a, that's a lot of colors through there. Uh, design color, we're just going to go with a yellow here. A yellow seat's very good. And then, I'm not sure what this is. Now, yeah, it's going to be the sides of the doors. Then we have another design color as well. Okay, that's the seats themselves. And then, of course, rim colors are rim colors. If you guys are bringing it in, we do have a very, very interesting light set up there. Uh, they are completely matte, so not clear. And then they do illuminate past that. So at least that's pretty cool. We can turn it on. Do we have any other options through here? We have unfold car, which just folds down the back. We have... Uh, nothing happening with the... Uh, Right and left, up and down. Maybe? No? Interesting. Okay. Nonetheless, and then we've got a couple different sets through here. Wow, is really nothing moving? We have a bunch of setups here and nothing is happening. Huh. Oh, don't tell me there's more wasted. Yep, that doesn't work. Hey, we finally found one that works. So I'm assuming doors are supposed to open and uh, different things like that. However... Well, they just don't. Your next new one for all platforms is going to be the Lizard Fortrex 300 from Solutions Mining. I do love this thing very much. I believe this is based on the Honda Fortrex. They just pulled the Honda logo and went whoosh, right off of it. Uh, 34 horsepower, manual transmission, 12 liters of fuel, 34, or 43 miles an hour, and it weighs about 900 kilograms. We've got the max wheels on there, uh, but we can change those up. We've done some uh, modded versions, though I'm not quite sure about them. Um, maybe a little bit more detail or something like that would look really cool. Uh, we do have some stickers on here. Throw on some 4 by 4 stickers and that type of thing. Main colors, well, just about anything you want in there. There you go. Chassis color, we'll go with a bright blue there. Ooh, man, chrome blue is looking good on this thing. Let's go with a red seat just because design color. Let's go with yellow. That's going to be your logo. So if you can want to, you can change those. And then lastly, let's go pink for the wheels. Ooh. I do like the way that that looks. It's a little bit wild and this looks way better, but uh, nonetheless, there you go. Another four wheeler option. As for the vehicle itself, there's really nothing crazy we could do. We've got one tension belt strap at the front and the back, and that is it. And another mod from Slush's Mining, we got the Lizard Volcano. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. The only thing is the uh, uh, rotation is like around the side of it. So like right here for some reason. Nonetheless, uh, there are no other customization options other than color. So uh, check this out. 54 horsepower, variable transmission, 120 kilowatt hour battery. Yes, this is fully electric, 44 mile per hour and weighs about a quarter of a ton. Main color, this is your color palette. We're just going to go with a nice purple. That's going to be your, uh, well, would be the tank, but I guess it's just a cover. Chassis color, we're going to go with a bright orange. Suspension color. Always red and rim colors. Lastly, we're going to go with white. Looking good there. Uh, I'm just going to get a regular one. We'll take a look. Turn it on. Did it just bing like the inside of a car? Yes, it did. Uh, rolling through. Uh, just like the other uh, motorcycles, it has a hard time speeding up when turning. Or turning when turning, for that matter. Uh, but... Nice and easy. Yeah! <laughs> uh, it is a lot of fun. One thing with mus er, Mustangs, with, with uh, motorcycles as well, if you can start in an area like this, you should be able to just like pop it up on a wheelie. And sometimes you can ride it out. Oh yeah, well, we rode it for a little while. Nonetheless, very cool. Uh, I like this. 
It changes direction fairly quickly. I did not put on brakes right through there. Um, might be good for like a slalom course, something like that. Here's one I know you guys have been waiting on, the John Deere 4020 pulling tractor. We've been talking about this for what seems like about two months at this point, uh, but we are ready to rock and roll. So we have the pulling tractor itself, and we have the pulling re-powered plus. Uh, so that is very cool. And then we have the LFC transmission, I think. Something like that. Uh, just pulls a little bit more than it did, but nothing else is changing. So uh, whatever. These are the most powerful ones. So we're just going to go with that. There you go. 1500 horsepower pulling parts. Yes or no. So on the very back, we've got parts for the pulling mod. If you guys are using Dominic stuff, you can do that. Paint scheme. We have the corn puller money pit. Deer Drag, Deer Express, Count Dragula, the Diesel Chugging Deer, and nothing. I think the corn puller's funny enough. And then attachment type, we have a low hitch or a high hitch. So you guys can put those on there as well. If you think I'm not going to take this for a spin, you're out your mind. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Uh, the thing is, top speed is showing only 24 miles an hour. Uh, so if you thought that you were just going to go yay with this, uh, not looking like that. I am curious though. See, 24 miles an hour. Yeah, that's not changing between any of the models. So would be nice if this would go about a million miles an hour, but unfortunately it won't. Uh, but boy, oh boy, does it roll coal. <laughs> not back there, but right here. Oh yeah. Next up, we have the platform body by, uh, Matabub. Very nice modding name right there. This is for the platform uh, transporting bales, pallets, things like that that you can load up on here. The body can be mounted to the Volvo FH16 from the Platinum Expansion without any adaptations. And they do say uh, for other trucks, uh, the position can be adjusted via mouse control. Um, mouse control also works with controllers, by the way. I'll show you guys how to use that. So we have the extension. We have a small extension in the front, a big extension. And back down again, we're going to go with big extension. Why not? Reflectors, we have none, yellow, red, and white, and back to none again. The frame, we have a 4x2 arrow, 4x4, or a 6x4 and a 6x4 and an 8x4 and an 8x4 again, and all in through there. Oh my goodness. Sidewalls, we have IC controlled or none. We also have a version without the back flap. And uh, you know what? We're just going to uh, standard, see what that happens with. We do have some Volvo colors here, which is very nice. We have a design color. We're just going to go uh, with that. And then a secondary design color as well, which we'll just change to gray. And I'm not sure that did anything. So let's get ourselves one of those. They said that this works with the platinum stuff. So we'll jump in, grab ourselves a truck from the platinum DLC. Boom, boom, right there. That'll work perfect. Uh, roof setup, could care less about that. But the wheel setup, I want that 8x4 right there. Man, that's a good looking picture. Nonetheless, uh, this should work perfectly fine. They have said that if you use this truck, it doesn't require any movements or adaptations, nothing like that. But if you use something else, you might need to change it up. So uh, maybe, maybe not so much. Uh, nonetheless, let's see how we do. So. We can open up, it says back door, but that is definitely the side. Uh, let's see, side left, side right, side back. Ah, okay, so you can control which of those that you go with. That's cool. We do have tension belt straps and we do have motion front and back. So we can move this a little bit. That's all the way back and then we'll push it all the way forward. That's all the way forward. So a small amount of movement, but I don't think you really need to move it too far. This really makes that Volvo truck look good. And we got a new corn head for you guys. This is the Rossum Ash Argus 870 from Bucky. They make quite a few things. 5.6 meters at 6 miles an hour. Next is the homemade forest trailer from Valag. This is kind of neat. It's a smaller trailer, which is good. You use this for small tractors, stuff like that. Doing a little bit of logging. We've got a nice little color palette through here. So all the old colors, plus the new colors, plus the base game colors. So this should match quite literally anything that you pair it with. And a tatter. Man, we get a close tatter. Sweet. Well, there's a couple that we've had that we could change colors with, but none that were like specifically a cloth. I love cloth branding and farming simulator, and this just makes it a little bit better. This is the WA450. It's from Buscat. 52 horsepower is required for this, 4.5 meters and 9 miles an hour. It's a tatter. You really don't need it to be that large. Cover, you could throw yes or no, and then stickers, which this is kind of nice. 
you could take those stickers off if you want to because we have some different color options. So if you guys want to change up the colors, make it look a little bit different, maybe you don't want it to be gloss, you could just change everything up uh, like that. Now you still have to have a, a green base, but uh, you can take those gloss stickers off and it won't even be a gloss anymore. Very cool, I like this. Very nice. Next is something very interesting. We have the Flegal DKS-22. This is a platform. can be hooked up via the rear or the uh, front of your tractor as long as you're running three-point. Now, we also have it in a tipper form, and I just got to say, man, this looks so good. It looks really good, man. Uh, we've got a couple different uh, capacities, the 2200 or 3100. We even have a liquid version for 2000. We have a forestry version. And back to the platform again. Uh, this is just epic. We've got all kinds of color options and things like that. Boom, 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 boom. Coming through, if you choose the tank, you could choose the tank color and the main color with it as well. This is just awesome. There's so many different bits and bobs and, and ways to utilize this on your own. Even this right here, the platform, it says two bales. So throw some bales up there if you want to. This is cool. And it is very rare that I say, you know what? just Go download it, but you know what? <laughs> Go download it. Next up, we have the K-branded VB3190 Baylor. This is from Forty Modding and Air Agri Modding. Uh, this is also available in a PC and Mac only version. However, the only difference between this and that is it has the NetWrap add-on. This does not because it's all platforms. Uh, 100 horsepower, 10 mile per hour uh, working speed, and it makes between 125, 150, and 180 centimeter round bales. This may look familiar because it is a modified version of the base game Baylor with the same name to make it more realistic. Uh, 4D and Aragri are incredible at making things realistic and they've done it again here. So the bells take longer to be ejected from the uh, chamber. Silage additive tank has been made selectable. So yes or no. Doesn't that look good on the front? Man, that looks so good on the front. Additional wheel configurations from Trelleborg, BKT, Continental, Michelin, Rastan, and back in again. Uh, looks like we can change up. Was it the Rastan tires? Yeah. Man, this look epic. This look great. Um, we've also got uh, added net wrap feed animation, but no net wrap, and then added animation sounds as well. And again, there's the PC version of this too, but it only uh, takes in that net wrap. We'll talk about it. Next up, we got the weight pack 250-900. Actually, 900's first, so we'll take a look at that. Bam! Uh, three point hitch, 900 kilogram weight, nothing too crazy. And we have another three point hitch. It actually hangs from the three points, so the front, uh, front link is off and weighs a quarter ton. Yeah, there you go. We got another weight, but this one is a little bit more oof. <laughs> I can't actually zoom in or out, which kind of sucks. I don't know how to prevent that. No, this is a big concrete weight. Uh, we got a hitch on one side. We got a three-point hitch on the other. Oh, there we go. All right, we're in and out now. We're good. And uh, weighs three tons, so very 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 heavy next we have a set of trailers that i don't know why we haven't seen this sooner this is the auto loading bell trailer pack this is three trailers that we have base game but they all are configured with or without auto loading we also have them and available as a wood trailer and all their other versions as well. Uh, so that is very, very cool. Same capacity, same options, things like that. But when you select into the configuration, you have bell auto loading. But that's not all. For Let's say, for example, you love the Belgo trailer that we get base game. So this guy right here. But you want to use some different tires. And maybe you don't like the color that the chassis is. And maybe the body should be orange. And the rim color should be dark blue because... Well, you could do that. Or you could go back and, and make it a Bell Auto Load trailer. And you could do that with all of these. And they work with all the round bells. Uh, the Brander works with all the round bells. But uh, the other ones work with uh, smaller stuff. So, that's very cool. Works with baby bells. Does not work with baby bells. Nice! You know what? 
I like these. Just go get them. Try them out. And as you guys know, no mod video is complete without placeable. So let's talk about some. First is the Polish corn drying add-on from JMZ. Uh, very appropriate for these guys. Really like it. Taking a look at it, we have the corn dryer here. Uh, basically, we put corn and propane in, and then we get dry corn out, which is very, very nice. Um, now, we have all of that. We also have the gas tank on here, and then we have uh, quite a few other things as well. So let's poke around and take a look. So instead of just showing you guys the, the stuff, I'm just going to show you this because there's so many different sell points for this. And so we've got a farmer's market. We have the fast food restaurant. We've also got a regular restaurant, and then we've got a supermarket. One of the nice things about these things is they still take everything else that they took before, but they've just added that to it, which is very cool. And then we have our tank right here, which we can come and buy propane. I like that they did this instead of uh, like some other type of thing, which is nice. And then if we jump in here and find Polish corn dryer add-on, we can see we've got some trailers and all of these will hold either what they normally do in the game or they have added the propane to them, which is super, super cool. How's about that? DJ Goham likes that. All right, so next we have another mod that I can't really pull out every single one of them because there's a lot. So we'll show you guys everything kind of individually so you can see at the bottom right what it will do. So uh, the American Silos Pack, which I highly recommend checking these out. Uh, we have a grass drying uh, stave silo small, and then we have the same thing in a little small. And then we have the same thing in a little bit bigger and a little bit tinier. Then we have a fermenting stave silo. So this will take in straw, nice uh, hay, grass, or chaff, and turn that into silage, which is super cool. And we have that available in a few things. Then we have the pig feed stave silo, uh, or pig feed silo. You got to put in your sugar beets, your corn, your canola, and your wheat, and you will get out pig food. Yeah. Uh, and if you're curious, yeah, these are all productions. Then we have for, one for TMR, so straw, hay, and uh, silage. That's going to make that. And then that's it. So there's a whole lot in here that actually only makes like what, three or four different things. But there's a bunch. There's like four different ones for each one. And again, they are all production chains. So what I want to do real quick, let's just take a small one. So this guy right there, that'll work perfect. We'll come up and we'll take a look here. Ba bam and then straw, straw silage. Look at that, straw into silage. I've been waiting on this for forever. Thank you, uh, DJ Goham's cheaty gameplay is now complete. Next up, we have another production. This is the firewood production. Very, very cool. I know a lot of you guys want to do firewood. Um, unfortunately, can't really use it. It is in a pallet form, but it is really cool. Uh, so you can deliver your wood to this. So we have firewood in bulk and basically wood turns into firewood. It is a one-to-one -one as well. So that is nice. It just kind of turns it in. And then you bring it over here to your sell point and you can sell it here. I like this. And your last new one for all platforms today is the Miragogaib House. I don't know how to say that. I think that was right, but it almost felt like I was saying the wrong words or words that were inappropriate. Nonetheless, uh, here you go. I believe this is our opening. Yes, it is. And we can come up here and take a sleepy time at that house. Uh, and then we come right here and change our clothes. They say it's farmhouse, a simple country house, ideal for your farm. Let me out of here. Uh, <laughs> living room, kitchen, and balcony, which is fantastic. But we can't go in. So there's that. Can we, though? There's got to be a way. I mean, I know these windows are like that, but nope, that one doesn't open. And that one doesn't open. I can turn the lights on out here, though. That's a bright idea. Ooh, a bad joke. Let's move on. Making our way over to mod updates for all platforms. We have the ultimate mowing and baling pack from Mac Trucker 921. This is version 1101. Fixed issue with the balers where the wheel chocks were always visible in their storage place, even when the balers were not connected to a vehicle. Fixed the issue that the liftable case IH baler would not make liftable bells and adjusted weights of the liftable bells. Added additional working modes to the Gavernland 71,000 or 7100 TBX to allow 
allow the rear three-point hitch to be raised or lowered with the different work modes. That's really cool. They also replaced the Claus Baylors with the Pottinger Impress 185 VC Pro. Details in the description if you guys want to check that out. They've also added a 4-meter pickup to the Case IH LB 436HD and added configurable strobes and extra colors to the Baylors. That's not the only update for Matt Trucker 921 that we have today. We also have the Small Flatbed Auto Load Trailer. This is version number 2. Completely reworked the auto loading bell feature to be able to auto load all bells, including all of the FS22 selectable bell capacity mods from the same trailer. Now needing multiple trailers, or not uh, needing those for the different bell types. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, and new update bell capacities uh, with the new capacities without using universal auto load mod. That is very cool. And then if you guys want to jump into the mod hub, you can check out all of the goodies that they've added extra. Next up, we have a couple of mods from Yoast. The first one is the liftable pallets for Platinum Expansion version 101 added buyable version of each pallet. One of my favorite mods, the Baylors with more wrap colors version 101 added Fent and Massey Ferguson Baylors to the back and added more colors. And another one from Yo, start from zero version 101 added buyable big bag for three starting modes and the extra values. Next up, the update to the two shell Sweet Plus 590s version 101 updated description text and fixed the typo. There is an update for PC and Mac players for this as well and it's the exact same thing. Next, the Field Shed Pack version 1011 added support for mod maps with Bought with Farmland tag. And an update to the Water Production Greenhouse and Store Pack version 1001. Corrected missing fill type hobs L10 in fill error unit thing and adjusted the production recipes and storage capacities for better balanced input and output. Next to last update for all platforms is Wholesale. This is Great Mods version 1.006. Added fill type from Seed Potato Farm Buildings mod with permissions. So waste potatoes, seed potatoes, premium potatoes, premium potatoes in large sacks, seed potatoes in large sacks, big bags and empty pallets. They've also improved the translations. And your last update for all platforms today is going to be the pallet. Additional features. This is version 1001. Various minor visual and functional fixes, though we don't know what those are. Making our way over to some new ones for PC and Mac players. The first one is the Field Repair Pickup Truck with 24-hour field service. Very nice. So it's got a 4,000-liter diesel tank for refueling in the field. Repairs are charged either by money or by maintenance consumption, which is kind of cool. Uh, the version with maintenance can only be purchased if maintenance and revamp are available, so be aware of that. You will need those. Uh, refueling with the vehicle close to the right-hand side, so make sure you got that as well. Uh, refueling in the field is on the left-hand side. Repair of the vehicle open at the back and choice of colors chassis and rims neato let's uh go through and see what we could do so wheel options we got just the base game stuff design uh we do have a couple different things i like that main color let's go with the bright orange we've been feeling orange today let's go with the gray for the back and rim colors are black not terrible let's lease ourselves one of these and take a look help window please turn it on activate repair so we have activated repair we come back here and I'm guessing we have to have something back there. That'll work, right? <laughs> Sorry, Mag. Yeah. That's the, the perfect thing that we need to repair right here. All right. So we'll back that there. Then we'll jump in here. Back it up to it, I guess. Build service. Hit a vehicle. Oh, you know what? I don't have revamp and it said you need the revamp so I'm just an idiot uh deactivate and uh yeah and then we could refuel on the left or the right hand side depending on how we do so here's 4,000 diesel uh she gonna be heavy when you when you load up that much diesel next is the member set so 69 nice dash one this is a cedar a very very cool looking cedar that super super old great for some old iron let's play stuff like that uh we do have reflectors on the top yes or no decals you can do yes or no with those as well and then we have lights on the back basically no gives us our reflectors or yes gives us lights I like the reflectors. I think it looks great. Main color, we have grays and reds. Extension color, we have blacks, grays, and reds. It's going to be on the very bottom, like that. And then room colors, of course, are room colors at the end of the day. So here you go. Uh, this will hold 85 liters of seed, 15 horsepower is required at 6 mile per hour and 1.8 meter working with. So uh, heads up there. And then 
through here, you can see we have wheat, barley, oats, well, all, all of your eight of your normal crops. You can read it. Next up, they have the Weevon Max Culture 7. So we have two of these right through here. Um, differences in the two, one's for the bank, one's for the front. So if you want to run one on the front of your tractor, you could do that. We even have an extra little hitch there for you guys. Or we have one that's pushed forward a little bit, so this would work better on the back, but might also work good on the front. So kind of nice through there, but everything else is exactly the same. 100 horsepower, 3 meters, and 9 miles an hour. And we got another cultivator. This is the Dexwall Grunt. This, I just realized there's no... Oh, there it is. It's a very, very light logo at the top and you go up here and it just disappears very nice uh, 80 horsepower 2.2 meters and 9 miles an hour nothing crazy about this one how's about another cultivator i thought you might want one this is the imt 616.10 40 horsepower 2.2 meters at 8 miles an hour and one of the great thing is if you guys play on pc we've also got some imt tractors so should match up perfectly with that and your last new mod for pc and mac players this is the k branded vb3190 again this is the exact same one that we got new for all platforms however one little line here and lastly we have some updates for pc and mac players as well the first one is the two shell sweet plus 590 we talked about this in the updates for all platforms but same thing here version 1001 updated description text and fixed typo the next update is for the los antonios sr7 240 this is version 1.1 added new functions for plow and cultivator so you were able to choose the function in the store plow only or plow plus cultivator aka subsoiler they've also added color settings 64 different colors including metallic metal and matte as well as uh, chrome color so there you go we got some mod description update and a fix the lizard logo your next update is going to be the time saving stock check this is version 1005 fix bail and pallet storage on dedicated servers next to last production info hud version number 1.2 for productions with opening hours the remaining time is displayed during the opening and therefore these are now already hidden earlier than two days um i don't know what the next one is because that is not English. And your last update for PC and Mac players today is Invoices version 1.3. Course play custom builds are now listed. Now, there were a few mods that dropped late last week on Friday after I'd already made the mod videos a couple hours after that. And I want to make sure that they get the spotlight because, well, I just didn't have time to do it. And maybe you don't even know it exists. So let's start it off with the one for all platforms, the Valzelli Cubix 4X. This bad boy right here is a slurry and a digest a tanker, 35,000 liters, 8.4 tons, 320 horsepower is required, a 15 meter spread and eight miles an hour. As far as your wheel options go, let's spin around. Uh, that is as far in as I can zoom. All right, now uh, Trelleborg, BKT, Nook in, Bratistan, Michelin, and back in again. We could change up a standard and a wide tire, stuff like that. Lights, so we have beacons. I'm guessing this is around the back side. I don't see anything around the front. Uh, we have beacons, extra work light, double beacons, double extra working light, and back in again. Uh, suction nozzle, yes or no. Reflectors, we have standard reflectors, and then we have just LED lights. That's really cool. Attachments, we have a three-point attachment or a four-point attachment. We also have a bumper down there and back in. Spreading system, we have the exact scatterer. We have the 90-degree right, 90-degree left. We have the spear, and then we have spear with extra, extra scatterer uh, and back in again. <laughs> Main colors here, you can change up whatever you would like. Let's just change this up to red so you see what it is. Secondary color, we're going to change this up to a bright blue, so all the little pieces around the top of the bottom and the back. Chassis color, we'll go bright green and decals. Gold, duh, duh, I'm gonna do gold, that looks awesome. And the rim colors, lastly, of course, well, the rim colors at the end of the day. And lastly, today we have a new map that dropped on Friday last week for PC and Mac players, Green Gold Farm. This is a big, normal size map, uh, but however it is, PC and Mac only. They say it's inspired by a real life location in the southern region of Brazil. Farm is located in a municipality of Camber, northern region of Paran. I should stop trying to read stuff like that. Uh, it's in the description. You guys can go check it out. Um, there are uh, four forestry areas, two grain cell points, as well as Pioneer uh, Agro Industry. We have cell of wool, cotton, 
basically they're saying that it does everything that it's supposed to do as a map and farming simulator 22 let's just take a look at the pda all right here you guys go we've got very very um drawn out areas of what is where and this and that no buying of the outside of the map so good luck with that small areas here and there yeah it's not terrible plus the prices are not that expensive either it's pretty good especially for how big the fields are you'll make that back in no time probably in one harvest if you choose the right crop as far as what we have we've got a john deere 6r and a massey 6s we've got the smaller john deere combine we have the 2017 pickup we have a rudolph trailer header for that john deere cultivator a direct drill which don't know why you need that if you have a direct drill and then we have a fertilizer and lime spreader and that is green gold farm well guys that's it i hope you enjoyed the video drop a like on it if you did get subscribed if you're new and join the go ahead fam make sure your notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos no matter what game it actually is here on the channel it is also another channel if you guys want to check out dj go mobile gaming for farm sim 23 content all be said hope you have a great day we'll see you later